in studio with Lady Di, Diane Waldron from Meals on Wheels. Di, good morning to you. Good morning. We're so happy to be here. Great to see you. You look very patriotic. Thank you. Yeah, pull your mic just a wee bit closer to you there. Just there you go. So you don't end up showing up on Bill's mic. Yeah, the whole stand moves. Just slide that. Thank you. Excellent. And you brought a guest with you too, Marianne Colley. Crawley. Crawley. I missed yes, the R. I'm right. sorry. How are you, Marianne? Me. Very well. How are you guys? Thank Excellent. you so much. Absolutely. And Marianne you... is our social media coordinator, so she okay. is the uh, responsible for so many things with our Facebook page, with our website, with our golf tournament, so we couldn't do it without Marianne. And you brought goodies, too. We did. Uh, our baker, Jamie, made those fresh this morning for you. There's cake, and there's cookies, and um, yeah, man. Are there ones in there to I, share? I, 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 I was going to say, I assume that's a euphemistic you and not a singular you. Basil, you pipe down over there now. <laughs> There's a lot of desserts. That it smells good and, and it tastes even better, I remember from the last time, too. Yes. So we serve a 1,000 meals a week at the um, Meals on Wheels in Berkeley County. That's impressive. And it's uh, a very, very um, satisfying, rewarding thing when you can serve others because the folks we d we serve are homebound mm -hmm. and they rely on our service and you do this seven days a week we do monday through friday but uh 30 of our folks receive weekend meals on friday so they get their hot meal on friday mm -hmm. and then two extra meals for the weekend get them through the weekend yes sir and how many volunteers do you currently have at meals on wheels about 140 140 and uh, how many days a week do your volunteers tend to drive uh, monday through friday so most um, of them do five days a week? Uh, most of them do five days a week. Some of them, well, we have a schedule. So um, some of them do once a month. Some of them do th three or four times a month. It depends on how often they're available. They love what they do because when they arrive at the, the house, they realize um, how important that well check is mm -hmm. that day. Yeah, and they typically have the same route over and over. So they get familiar with the with the recipients and then they have a nice little bond and friendship. So. Yeah, we tend to think uh, the food aspect of it, but the social contact, the social comfort, I think is equal to the food. Absolutely. Yeah. We have one um, lady that lives alone. She's 98 and she really gets the meals to see that driver every day yeah. because that's the only person she sees exactly. in a day. Yeah. So she's always saying how, and our drivers have been driving for 20 years, 30 years. So they, they become friends with the clients. They really do. And I know um, there's a, a gentleman in our church who has been doing it for at least that long, Frank Cerablo. Yes, um, exactly. He's driving today. Okay. Yes. Um, did we not have Frank on the show once? Yes, you did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. And he, um, I never forget an Italian name. Right? Yeah, <laughs> he's, I mean, he's well into his 80s. Um, he's, he's almost 90. And yeah. just loves the, loves the work. And mm -hmm. he's a great golfer, too. He's so. been driving for 30 years. 30 years. Yes. Okay. Yes. I knew it was a he absolutely has and yeah. uh, I just passed him when I was leaving to come here <laughs> he's driving route four today yes that's great now you have a golf tournament coming up to raise some funds we, we do, do. Yeah. Marianne's going to talk to you sure. about that thanks guys um yeah and speaking of Frank so he's one of the lead people on the organization for the golf tournament mm -hmm. of course um, he is <laughs> yeah of course he is um so this year we want to make sure everybody knows that typically we've been doing it in the spring and this year, the golf tournament is actually moving into the end of summer. It's going to be on August 16th, okay. and we're trying to get that word out so we can get some golfers to come on out and enjoy it. It's our 19th annual um, fundraiser mm -hmm. for the golf tournament. And um, this year, we're really hoping it to be um, just as big of a year as we can in honor of uh, Jim Reed. Jim was the main person. I think he was the, the person who actually started and organized the golf tournament back originally. Yes, ma'am. And um, and this is um, this is in his honor. It's usually a memorial for his wife. Now it's a memorial for Jim and his wife Joy. Okay. So um, August sixteenth at ten a.m. out at the woods. Um, we got a cap for one hundred and twenty golfers to come out, and we are just asking people to come out. We're also looking for um, sponsors to want to possibly donate um, auction items a door prize items, any type of swag for bags, anything like that. It's everybody on board. We appreciate everything everybody can do. Now, last time you were here, you had a loaf of bread. <laughs> I hear you've made another contraption. Yes. Well, you were such a good sport when we did the Jersey Mikes, and you were wearing a huge 
headpiece with a piece of bread. Yeah. Today, how'd that go? By the way, that it went very well, Great. and I think you're you were part of the reason it went so well. Breadhead will push it over the top. Yes. <laughs> Breadhead. So, so. so today we didn't want you to feel left out, so we brought you this. Diane can fashion anything into a headband <laughs> to nice. promote. So <laughs> it's our golf club hat. It is the golf club hat of Berkeley yeah. County's Meals on Wheels golf club hat. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Don't got to wear that for the rest of the show. It's kind of like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. <laughs> you, yeah, the similarities. How's that work? Yeah, it looks good, Rob. It looks, it looks good. really good. Yeah. Really good. good. I'm, a little, I'm a little concerned about the turning radius in an elevator or whatever, but we don't have one, so I think I'm okay for now. You're probably good. Yeah. The I, ribbon is a really nice touch, too. It is. I think it kind of goes with your outfit. It's mm. black and gold, too, so Steelers colors. There I'm, you I'm go. I'm on the good team there, so I'm, I'm all right there. How long did it take to put this together? This go- and will you be selling these at the tournament? <laughs> no, this could is be a big hit. This is you. one and only. Yeah, you're you're special. So this is this many is people have told you. me that over the years. <laughs> Some have met it differently. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of folks think Meals on Wheels is, um, you know, that we're affiliated with someone else. We are a private, freestanding, mm-hmm. independent um, nonprofit. So this sure. golf tournament is our only fundraiser for the year. Is the only one you do all year? You don't do anything else? We do the Unity Campaign right. through the United Way. I was going to say, you're a United Way sponsor. Absolutely. Yeah. We've been a United okay. Way member uh, for 33 years. Yeah. But this is our only Please. fundraiser. Awesome. This is our only uh, in-house that we promote. How much um, do you hope to take year. in? <sighs> what did we do? Well, let's think. Yeah, let's, let's, the more, the more, the better. <laughs> <laughs> but six, six, eight, ten thousand dollars. Ten, at least ten. We're hoping to yeah. to get, um, and that's with the donation of everybody coming on out. All of the the tea sponsors are a big mm-hmm. thing, and all of the gold and the platinum sponsor. Uh, platinum platinum sponsor this year is Procter and Gamble, which we always appreciate their support. Um, but they jumped on board with us, so that's fantastic awesome. of them to do that. How much does it take you for a year to operate? Oh, that's a good question. Um, you know, I don't have a, a concrete figure, but I can tell you that with the food prices going up the way they have, um, it is getting more and more challenging every year. Yeah, yeah, I can appreciate that. That kind of leads me to question. You get 10000 roughly 10, 10 to 15000 mm-hmm. for this golf tournament. That's your number one fundraiser. You get money from uh, United Way. Mm-hmm. Do you get money from the East West Foundation, Community Foundation? I do apply for grants okay. through them. Yes, sir. I apply for about 13 grants a year to sustain okay. us because it's the grants and the donations that keep us floating okay uh, we charge a nominal fee for the meals but the meals are costing us close to six dollars each yeah. and we charge between two and four dollars a okay. meal because of the de- uh, demographics of the area and we don't we're committed to not raising that price for our recipients sure. uh, most commendable uh, uh, the donations what what avenue for donations do you have we have a website, okay. Berkeley, Berkeley okay. County Meals on Wheels. Mm, exactly. And do you get quite a few donations through the website? We get some, but I, actually most of our donations are people that decide to write a check and just mail it to us. Okay. okay? Yeah. Or we get, like this week, we were out of bottled water for our volunteer drivers because we like, because in the summer it's very, very hot and they're out there driving for hour, you know, three to four hours. So we were getting low on bottled water. So Marianne was nice enough to fit. Uh, post on Facebook that we yeah. need to bottle water. Yeah. Our community always comes through for us, so we're starting to get bottled water donations. Yeah. And, and I was going to ask then, do people give you food donations too, or do you buy all the food? Um... We buy the majority of the food, okay. but we do get food donations. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, we do. Um, go ahead. You mentioned grants, uh, and everybody think you have 13 grants you apply for. Everybody thinks grants are a cash cow. You just say, put a, a piece of paper and say, give me money. It's no. just, a, just <laughs> the contrary, just the contrary. It requires a lot of expertise and a lot of persistence for grant. Do you do all the grant writing yourself? I do. Okay. I do. She yes, does. She, she does. Diane does a lot of work. If it wasn't mm-hmm. for her, she's 100% heart and soul with this organization and um, the amount of time that she spends on grants because we're not funded by anybody yeah um, this it wouldn't this would not exist without Diane understand one of the our recent grants you received yes. uh, either from United Way or the foundation one of the two was to provide fresh vegetables uh, yeah. to your workers that's uh, uh, 
which and that would require not it's i'm sure the uh the recipients are very very happy with that however it would also create quite a bit more work because it requires more work trying to peel a tomato than just dumping out of a can uh how do you uh, uh mm-hmm. the impact of that well we started in january of this okay. year okay and myself and linda barnhart uh went to six different farmers okay spring valley ores kitchens up in falling waters and two um, hydroponic farmers. And we met with them to talk about how we could make this work. And that's when I applied for the Mm -hmm. Eastern West Virginia Community Foundation grant and we were blessed enough to get it. So they're um, working with us to give us some wholesale prices Mm -hmm. when they can, okay? And we started getting beautiful lettuce from a hydroponic farm and tomatoes from a hydroponic farm back in the you know middle of winter um and now we're getting cherries and strawberries and this week sure. we're getting blueberries and i got to tell you if you go to our facebook page there's some pictures of people recipients that um these fresh fruits and vegetables are bringing back great memories for them oh the calls and the messages yeah. that she's getting is just lovely it's it's heartwarming there is one gentleman that called and said that he hadn't had fresh strawberries excuse me blueberries in over 20 years and you think about that it's like how is that but it's like if he's homebound if he's in his 80s how long has he not been driving how long has he not gone to an actual grocery store and so it's it's really heartwarming Mm -hmm. your your drivers are volunteers yes cooking staff also volunteers we have four part-time employees including myself so we have two people in the kitchen cooking jamie who's our baker she she's uh, part-time as well and um, everyone else is a volunteer okay. so we have volunteer packers in the morning they come in at quarter to seven and they're packing the cold portion of the meal and then we have uh, the hot portion of the meal being cooked fresh daily in our kitchen at King's Daughters Court and going circling back to this uh, the fresh vegetables yes. which are great, great how much burden does that put on your cooking staff you know it's it is more work i'm going to tell you however uh, we have enough volunteers to help the cooking okay. staff yeah. so right now it's not costing us more labor mm-hmm for the fresh fruit and vegetables and we're finding it this is our first year doing it but where's wood knock on wood um it's going really really well hey let's circle back to the golf tournament real quick too i don't want to run out of time before we give this a bit more hype if we could Uh, again the dates the costs and how to register absolutely so um you can call me at 352-678-2680 say that number a couple more times 352-678-2680 my name is marianne crawley uh, social media coordinator on on the board and I'm doing my best to um, help organize this wonderful thing and you can also call the office at 304-263-6622 is there a website where you, you can, can go to register absolutely go to Berkeley County Meals on Wheels you can register there um, you can find the forms I don't know if I should hold these up for mm-hmm. the camera or anything sure. um, but there's a registration form on there if you prefer old school you can have you can pick one up at our kitchen um, but to uh, to golf, it is eighty dollars for an individual golfer, three hundred for a foursome. If you're an individual golfer, um, we will pair you up with a team, so that is not a problem. If you would rather be a sponsor, like I said, we have uh, T sponsorships for a hundred dollars, where you get your business name and logo if you want it on a T sign, and it's put out at all the different spots in the golf course. Um, you can donate some sort of swag for our goodie bags, whether it's pencils or pens or golf balls or whatever you have. We would take it. We love it. And the golfers love getting nice treats in the, yeah. in the, the golf bags. Um, we're looking for silent auction items. Mm-hmm. We're looking for door prizes. Um, and then silver sponsor is $500. And you also get a tea sign. You get your logo featured on our website. And you get a foursome team golfing spot with that. So there's lots of opportunity. And we appreciate every single person that can do anything to help us out because that just boosts the organization. It keeps the tournament going each year. And it's a big part of the community. I think you should give. Do you do a 50-50 drawing we too? Do. We do. Absolutely. You should give not only the cash from the 50-50 drawing to the winner. But the head gear. You know what? <laughs> I think that's a great gear. idea. As worn by on TV. Uh, you know. I you mean, know what? We're going to have a heckler on the hole, I believe, and maybe the heckler has to wear that headband, <laughs> and then that can be part of the auction at the end. Ron's not going to like me for saying that, but be we'll creative. see how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> be creative. What the heck? I like and, this idea. Right? And then you also, this is somewhat important to golfers, so you get with your registration, 
you get the obviously the golf and the golf cart little sandwich beforehand some beverages during play and then a luncheon and then as a luncheon well afterwards. i mean so that's indeed. a lot for 80 bucks I, and the i'm well here. aware of of golf tournament costs one saying. of the better priced more affordable tournaments it is, it is. The luncheon's provided by our Meals on Wheels kitchen staff, ah, so it'll be delicious. Absolutely, exactly. absolutely. Someone on our Facebook page asked about NIP credits. Yes. Do you all have those available? We apply for them every year. I apply for them every year. Of course you do. We won't know till September 1st if mm -hmm. we're approved. You don't have anything left this year. No, ma'am. Right no, ma'am. But September you'll find but out. But if they want to call me at 304-263-6622 now with their name, I'll be happy to put them on a wait list. Mm -hmm. So when we are approved, which I'm, hopefully we will be, mm -hmm. I'll be happy to call them. Good. Good, good, good. good question about Thank the nip credit. Yeah, who it's, who it's, asked that on Facebook? Um, let's Haddocks. see. Yeah, yeah. the Haddocks is. Um, and from personal experience, that's not an easy one to apply for either. I've I mean, applied for that for seven years in a row. And once you get it, it's good. But then if you take a little hiatus, then you get or to the end of the line. If you don't use them. Or, yeah, yeah, or yes. you don't use them. Yeah, it's quite the process. So, thank you for good acknowledging for you. that. Good for you. <laughs> and thank you, Haddixes. <laughs> yeah. Diane Waldron, Marianne Crawley in studio here for Meals on Wheels and their golf tournament coming up, which you can go to the Meals on Wheels website to register for, uh, as well as uh, finding forms at the offices there at Meals on Wheels, too. If you are a senior listening to this program and would like to begin Meals on Wheels service, how do you do that? Simply call me, Diane Waldron, at 304-263-6622. I'd be happy to take an application over the phone. It's as easy as that if you qualify, which means you're homebound. You live in Berkeley County, West Virginia. You don't have to be a senior. And are there any um, ramifications or are you able to provide any free services to people who can't pay that two dollars or four dollar meal we have lunch. many options for those okay. folks okay. and um, when they call i'll be happy to give them those options okay good to know when amy orndoff was on the program yes. last she mentioned working with you folks here at meals on wheels but she also mentioned what uh maybe 52 of the other 55 counties are facing around the state which is kind of a hard cliff funding wise for helping to continue these services are you in any financial jeopardy right now not at this time but I never take a day for granted. <laughs> so we're going to continue days like this talking to our community, which is an amazing community. But uh, with the way the economy is and the way food prices are, it's a little scary. But we'll be fine sure. because um, there is no room for failure. There is not. <laughs> yeah, and things have changed this year. It's, it's, it's certainly not um, – um, the money's not coming in in donations as it has during COVID, during COVID, during the pandemic. People wanted to give, they were able to, and then with prices going up and things have changed, it's it's gone down quite a bit. So, And that's one reason we decided to do the farm to table mm -hmm. because we were um, facing, you know, canned food is expensive, canned fruits are expensive. So we said, well, some, some of these meals is the only meal these folks get in a day. Let's make it as impactful as we can. Let's Absolutely. help the farmers. And so this is a win-win. So I'm very, very proud of this. Well, and, and you cut down on sodium as well. I mean, anything that's, uh, go. that's in, in a, a can, can. you've got to preserve it in some form or fashion. So this is uh, a probably a healthier option as well. Right. Hey, uh, great to have you guys in studio. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you so much for and having us. And you look great with your, your hat. <laughs> Fabulous. Um, well, let's don't go overboard. The, the hat looks great. <laughs> in, ter in terms of accessorizing, Stop. I think I dressed he well. He looks great. Come on, Basil. Basil, whatever your name is. Uh, Basil would work. Too. Basil, too. Final yeah. minute coming up next. <laughs>